Hello and welcome back. This is Steve at Bucks Coins and welcome to a new review. In front of you you see two coins from George, the era of George III. They are a dollar coin from, 19, from 1804 and an 1818 crown. 0 0.925 silver. Okay, the first one we're going to look at is this one here. This was a this one is a Bank of England coin. If you look on the reverse we have the Bank of England, we have a date of 1804 and we have Britannia sitting in the cartouche in the which is which has a five shilling five shilling there and one dollar here. This is not a legal currency as such. What it is, is a Bank of England token with a value of one dollar or five shillings. It was used as a trade token and it was minted in the Soho Mint. We don't have a mintage figure for it. So we have a Bank of England George III token, which was used as a trade token. The second one, which is a George III coin as well, this one's a crown. And on the back we have the Bernadetto Pastrucci engraving of St George and the Dragon. This particular coin, which has quite an older bust of George III, in 1818 he was getting to the madness stage, I believe, and and the and the we also had at that point the Prince of Wales taking over on a day-to-day -day basis with what was called the Regency. This coin has a mintage of 155,200. Now this Bank of England coin, which was the first one I showed you, was actually one that was produced by overstriking a Spanish Empire 8 reals coin in the middle of the 18th century, which was the 1700s they, that they got them. So this one, is a, this one is dated 1804, which is the beginning of the 19th century. So the 18th century coins that were taken from the Spanish eight silver reals and they were overstruck. I don't know what they don't really look as if they're overstruck, they look as if they might have minted they they might have melted the mint down and re reused the eight reals silver and produced the the coin itself. Well, it's a, just an interesting overview that this was used in trade, so it had a value of one dollar or five shillings, depending on what you used for your trade. Now, what do you think of these two coins? I actually, as I said, I found these in a house clearance section on eBay. One is a token, one is a coin. The portraits, as you can see, are quite different. This is an older portrait. This is the younger portrait. There is, what, 15 years between them, 14, 15 years between them. What, so what do you think of these coins? Do you like them? Would you want them in your collection? I know I'm glad to, and I'm happy to have them in mind, but I do like older coins. We've still got things to do. I've still got checks to make on these coins, but I'm reasonably happy, although I do sort of say 
I'm giving myself a leeway just in case because of where the way that I bought them. I am getting a new silver testing kit so hopefully I'll be able to check them out along with the other silver coins that I've shown you recently. Right, this particular video is I'm just about finishing off. If you believe I've deserved it, please would you give me the thumbs up and if you have um if you've not yet subscribed and you believe I deserve it, please would you do so because I'm getting so close to 100 subs, which is one of my targets for this year, that I can taste it. And I'd love to get over the line before Christmas. I think I need six more subs, but uh, there we go. If you're having a hunt, I hope you have a successful one and you find the coins you're looking for. If you are buying coins, I hope you can get the coins you want for the price you want to pay. And finally, I do four videos a week, so I hope you can find something that you'll enjoy watching. And until we meet up again on this channel, which I hope will be not too far into the distant future, from me, bye-bye. Ta-da now.